Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to do class C subnet mask calculations. I picked the IP address of 182.168.8.147 with a mask of uh, 240 and I'll show you how to find number of hosts, number of networks, subnet address, broadcast address and the host range. Uh, we're going to do everything in binary so we don't have to memorize a lot of stuff. So the first things first, let's do number of hosts. To find number of hosts we need to see, uh, let's go convert your mask into binary. So this is my mask in a binary. The number of networks determines of number of ones in your mask. Uh, in a class C address or class C mask uh, we only concerned with the last uh, octet. So we have four ones that means 2 to the power of 4 it's 16. That means we have 16 networks using this mask. So let's do this here. To find number of hosts we do the same thing but it's determined by number of zeros. So we have four zeros which means we have two to the power of four which gives us 16. But we know from our studies that uh, you cannot use subnet address and broadcast address in your IP assignments, that means we have to do minus 2. So 2 to the power of 4 gives us 16 minus 2, which gives us 14 valid addresses. So that's our number of hosts. To find our subnet address, uh, which is used for, uh, let's say, routing, if uh, you want to do static route or RIP, you need to know your no, not RIP, but uh, static uh, or OSPF, you need to know your subnet address. To calculate subnet address, you need to take your mask and your IP address and you have to do end operation between them. So let me get the uh, 147 convert to binary. Okay, let's do here. Okay. Uh, to do, when you have an end operation, the number one result only comes when you have two ones together. So every time you have a zero, the outcome is going to be zero. And this is how the result is going to look like. Basically, one and one gives you one, zero one gives you zero, zero one gives you zero, one and one gives you one, zero make zero and zero makes a zero, and so on okay so this is our result now what we come up with this is our subnet address so when we write this address it will be like this okay which is 182.168.8.144 to calculate our broadcast address uh, you do similar thing but you don't do end operation what we do we take our sublet address which is this one okay this is our subnet address and then we take our mask and what we're going to do when you see ones here and you see zeros here in your mask what we need to do we have to change these we have to change these zeros into ones so the result is this okay the result is this basically we keep the numbers under the mask are not, not changed and these zeros we convert into ones. It's very simple which gives us 159. Our host range 
is uh, the range between these two numbers between 144 and 159 but because we cannot use 144 and 159 our range is from 145 to 158 and that's it uh, just by doing a few calculations right here we can come up with uh, all the answers to our questions so let's go recap what we learned to find number of hosts in class C addresses we take number of zeros in the mask so we have 4 and we do 2 to the power of 4 which gives us 16 but because we cannot use two addresses we do minus 2 which gives us 14 valid addresses available for uh, our hosts, computers, routers. To calculate the number of networks is uh, we, we need to see how many ones we have with our, in our mask in the last octet which is 4. So we do 2 to the power of 4 which gives us 16. That means we can have 16 networks using 240 subnets with 14 valid addresses each. To calculate our subnet address we need to do end operation uh, between our IP address and our mask. To do end operation every time you have a two ones the result is a one. If there is a zero the result is always a zero. When we do end operation this is our result which converted to decimal gives us address of 144. To calculate our broadcast address we take our mask we see where the the border is and we take our subnet address we convert the zeros these zeros it has to the dividing line is right there let me go mark it uh, this is our dividing line right here okay you leave these numbers unchanged you only change these fours into ones which the result is right here when you convert it into decimal it gives us 159 and then to find our host range you just do the range between those two numbers which is 145 to 158 okay I hope this video is uh, informative and um, you learn something from it okay thank you for listening and good luck bye